All right, this is gonna be the first trick I teach on this channel. And it's gonna be a pretty cool one because you can actually take the deck, give it a couple of shuffles like this, right? Um, and it really doesn't matter. You can have, uh, have them take the deck and give it a couple of cuts. And this is a pretty cool one, right? So here's the secret. Uh, it goes like this. You have someone uh, freely tell you when to stop or um, they can choose a card or they can cut the deck anywhere and hold it to their chest, whatever works for you. Um, in this example, I'm gonna have the spectator tell me stop. Say so they say stop there, they're gonna look at the card. Got it, okay. Put everything back and then they can take the cards and shuffle them up as much as they want. Doesn't matter, give it a couple of cuts. All right, so check this out. I'm going to divine what their card is. I think uh, I think it's going to be a black card. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a spade. Uh, was your card the queen of spades? All right, so this is how it's done. Uh, it's done by getting the deck and stack. Ooh, scary, right? No, uh, it's actually a pretty easy stack. It's size stebbins, but not regular size stebbins. It's size stebbins reversed. Um, and from a mixed up, this is actually mixed up now because they had the spectator shuffle it up. Now, uh, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get in stack. Check this out. So if you go through, you're going to go into um, chased order. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. So let's let's put hearts here, diamonds here, clubs here, and put spades here. And go through and just separate all the suits. So we'll do that now. Might fast forward this part of the video. All right, so now once you have all the suits separated, we're going to then take each suit and separate it into uh, uh, ace through king so we put the ace first ace two uh three four five six seven eight oops eight nine ten jack queen king so king's on top and we'll do that for every suit All right, now that we have them all in order, we'll start by placing the first club, right? So uh, if you don't know size seven stack, it's every third card. So king, and then you go ace, two, three. So it's gonna be in chase order. So since it's a club, the next one's gonna be heart. So king, which is 13, we'll start back on ace, two, three, three of hearts, right? And we'll place that there and then cut the remainder to the top of this pile. And we'll do that for the remainder so next one's going to be a spade so three four five six so we cut the six of spades to the top put the six of spades down put everything down do the same thing for here six seven eight nine nine of diamonds cut it to the top put the nine down and now everything becomes way easier because then you can just take the top card of every pile and this will leave you exactly in size seven stack. And I should be able to do this quick enough that I don't have to fast forward this part of the video. Hopefully we'll see. And we're gonna stack that fast, but hold up. Not so fast. There's two more secrets to this trick that actually makes it very deceiving. Um, first of which is uh, not, is it just size step and stack, but you're also gonna be um, in reverse size step and stack. So how do you get in reverse size step and stack? Pretty easy. You just take every single card and place it down as if you're counting, right? So we're gonna count all the way through the deck. 
You don't actually have to count, but all this is doing is reversing the deck. And we're doing that for a specific reason. And I'll show you why here in a moment. All right. Now we are in reverse five seven stack, which is pretty awesome because if you think about it, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it when paired with something very specific. You ready for the secret? Come here. A mark deck. Now, seriously though, um, if you get a good mark deck, that's all you need for this. Get yourself a good mark deck. I have here the penguin mark deck. Go pick them up, they're worth the money. All right, check this out. So. As I did in, in the first part of the trick, let's say my preferred way to perform this is to have someone just, it, it, because this is a cyclical stack, you can cut it anywhere you want. So you can make it look like you're shuffling it by just cutting the deck over and over. Just casually as you're giving a conversation, as you're talking to your spectators, it looks like you're shuffling the deck. But all I'm doing right here is I'm holding my thumb here, cutting, that way it cuts exactly at a halfway point every single time, just kind of casually cutting the deck multiple times. It makes it look like you're giving a, you know, half-ass shuffle. All right, uh, check this out. This is how I like to perform it. I say, okay, you know what? Cut the deck anywhere you like and take the bottom portion and put it to your chest and take a little peek at where you cut. So they cut to the five of spades. Now, by looking down here at my mark, I can know because size seven has been reversed, the top card here will tell me what this card is. So for example, let's check this out. Uh, let's cut again at a random place, place it to my chest and I'm looking down and I'm seeing that this is the 10 of clubs. Okay, so I know 10, 11, 12, 13, that's gonna be the king. Clubs, hearts, so it's gonna be the king of hearts. Boom, I cut to the king of hearts. So you instantly know and you can read their mind or uh, have them produce uh, the card in a mind reading um, uh, production and of the card, whatever you want. Uh, I prefer to try, try to kind of like do a mind reading uh, presentation of this. You can also at this point have them disrupt the order, shuffle, shuffle the heck out of these cards. So I can't know what the card is going to be, um, but you're already 10 steps ahead. So, uh, that's it. That is the uh, trick. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next.